So let's talk about this. We do a Madden myth every week, Gibbs. Does the throw accuracy Matt rating Stafford. matter? We're going to look at Matt Stafford, the best quarterback for your coins in Madden Ultimate Team. Coins. And you'll notice for his accuracy, mm -hmm. he has throw power, mm -hmm. how, how fast he can throw, how far he can throw, mm. throw accuracy short, throw accuracy mid, yep. and throw accuracy deep. And then throw accuracy on the run, and then play action. Throw accuracy on the run. Both low. Play action. So mm -hmm. now we go into game. Yep. Right? Yep. And what we're going to see is in the depth chart. Show me, good falls. Derek Carr. Mm hmm. He's not Matt Stafford. Just in case I don't know. Throw power. Yeah. Short, Sack, mid, Mac, Dak. Mac. Run, pack. Mac, tack. Does not have throw accuracy. Right. Right? But all these quarterbacks in the front end of the game and in the main pieces mm -hmm. I have throw THA. accuracy rating THA. THA. Why? Does it affect their high point, low point abilities? Because the man who asked the question has a theory. I'd love to hear the theory, but as far as I've never known, it's the it's for like franchise, for like simulation. Correct. Right. Throw accuracy like rating. Footwork, like blocking footwork is not for the game, it's for simulation. Correct. So throw there's a, another rating called throw accuracy. Does not matter unless you're simulating a game. There's an old article on EA that we can link to in the description where it actually says that. Throw power matters. Short accuracy matters. Throws between 0 and 10. Medium uh, matters. Throws between 10 and 20. Or 10... Throws between 10 and 40. Yeah. Deep accuracy, any throw over 40. So Mac is really where your bread and butter is made. That's where Steve McNair at 88 is bad. Your Mac, your Mac is so important. Now I believe there's an idea that once a quarterback achieves 90 and he has a clean pocket and his feet set and he doesn't incur a penalty from pressure in his face or moving backwards, that he won't throw a, a, a very inaccurate pass. I think that there's a couple different types of accurate passes, and I'm trying to make sure I get all the details right, but we'll have to confirm these. So you have just regular inaccurate passes where a receiver can still catch it, and then you have passes that are like very inaccurate passes where they go out of range of the receiver. So my understanding is once the quarterback gets to a competent level of short, he won't, like two years ago, sometimes you would throw a short pass on a drag, and he would overthrow the drag not to the drag side, he would just throw it to the linebacker almost, it seemed like. Sailing. And that was frustrating. Sailing. So there was, he's, they've improved that. So as long as you're not backing up, as long as you're not taking a penalty, because you know when you make a bad throw. Dude, remember Bruce Gorkowski? Remember yes. Remember that guy? He was like a 65 so, overall, but he had 98. Throw shoot. off your back foot okay. so that we can see the penalty that the quarterback receives to his accuracy. Like if you're scrambling away. So you, that was a touch pass, but, oh, but you... I still delivered a strike. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you still, you know, you, you can throw on the run. You can throw under pressure is what happens when, so that's under pressure because you had a down. linebacker so close near you. It was red, and that's why it's bad. And that's hitting on your, your short accuracy or your mid accuracy or whatever uh, rating is appearing, right? You then have that regular short ac uh, throw accuracy category that sometimes you see that's only for like franchise if you're simulating. So while I like that the guy had a theory that it's for high points or low points, or he feels it affects it, I'm interested in seeing if it does affect it, um, if he's got a video or something, but I don't believe it is. And that is another Mad Myth busted. That is what throw accuracy Look does. Strike. Look a little, boop. little touch pass oh. down. I've got a theory. I've got a theory that you can't really throw an accurate pass on a touch pass. It's my own personal theory. Yeah. It's definitely not real. I definitely made it up. But I don't throw many inaccurate yeah. passes when I throw a touch pass. Okay. Maybe because I don't pass lead as much. Maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah. I Last year on streaks downfield, I would always pass lead forward, and, and I would overthrow sail, them sail all them. the time. Sail them. And that was on me. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't touch pass on drags, no. That's up. Some people like the touch pass on drags. Yeah, he says you, that bullets you, get picked too often. Well, no. Well, I'm not gonna disagree with that, but um, it's because you get a rack catch out of it, right? So you know how sometimes they would they possession it and yeah, they fall to and the they ground? lay down. Yeah. If they if it like it's, it happens especially with guys off the line of scrimmage like Hill here. So like if I throw it to him too soon and like here he'll like some like I think. I think it might have been addressed. It could have been addressed in a previous patch. But that's where I think 
I remember that being a tip that was people running rampant in the community was like, okay, on your drag underneath, just throw a, a, a lob because then they rack it. And it's still pretty. It's still in the same spot. You get more rack off low throw, says Foxborough. That's his theory. Everyone's back. got their drag. Could you get that quick turn? No, because it looked like it let them. Like I, you threw it a little late, but. I kind of dig it. Like. It, like it brings me outside. Like boomerangs them up. What? It brings you outside a little bit more. That's kind of good. Experimented with quarterback yeah, accuracy watch this, watch this, here this. on this week at Madden Show 226. Oh, the pressure. Live, live. Lock it in, Foxborough, folks. Hey, Lock it guy. in. Foxborough, hey, my guy. I dig it, man, because it like it like brings you. Like just look at, the, look, look at that, and then let's. I'm just gonna no no pa all pass lead, but no low throw. Just like. But the more you pass lead, the you, more. You see how I'm not I'm not crescendoing out towards that sideline there. I see that. Wow. It's a parabola. This is kind of. But to the extra yards mm, you get benefit yeah. the one time you're gonna dunk your well, lineman in the head. I know. Also, it seems as though like I feel like I'm getting a boost. Like it, it, it feels like he's gonna, like right there he's getting just getting bang. All right, try it out yourself. Let us know what you think. Good question, Mad Myth busted.